Hello and welcome back to the Bielsa stand and this is my say on Jave Garcia. It is looking very likely that Jave will be sacked today as of recording it's 5 to 4. On Tuesday, Jave Garcia looks like he believing leaves with Sam coming in. Sam Allardyce, big Sam. Victor Orta has left the club for mutual consent this morning. Thank goodness for that because he's the one that's made us in this mess, hiring the likes of Jave, hiring the likes of Jesse, our recruitment for players, Christensen hasn't been good, the likes of Aronson as well, spending about 30 mil on him. January, even January, bringing, bringing in McKenney, it hasn't worked as well as, um, as well as bringing in Rutter for 35 mil, who doesn't play a minute. It seems so. Yeah, Jave's gone. You know what? He had a good start. We had a win against uh, Southampton and Wolves. But the last few games since that Crystal Palace loss, it's been disastrous. And people say it's because of that Crystal Palace loss. That's why our momentum's gone downhill. It's it's probably true since that equaliser and uh, reports that there was an argument or something in half-time. We've just been shocking. We're now 17th. Yesterday, Everton and Leicester drew to all. I wanted Leicester to win because I think they'll be safe anyway. But yeah, we're sat in 17th place. The club's a mess. Thank goodness that fix has gone. Um, a bit frustrating that I see some players of this club, of Leeds United, posting their appreciating uh, whatever words for Victor. Why? Because he gave you a good pay pay wage or whatever no he's not good enough he hasn't been good enough he wasn't good enough at ball and i said this last time about victor but thank goodness me right disani's done something good he's sacked uh victor and it looks like jave will be following him and uh you know you know what interestingly i spoke to a couple of watford um supporters when we were getting jave and they said he's the next best thing. He's he's the best thing since sliced bread. It hasn't worked for him. I think at the majority of clubs it hasn't worked for him. I said in a tweet when uh, we were linked that he was sacked at Watford. Everyone was all optimistic about Jave. I was a bit like, oh, uh, whatever. And, uh, and then I felt confident appointing him. I thought he'll do a job after a couple of wins. I thought, okay, you know what? He might keep us safe. But as I say, it's gone downhill in recent games and it's uh, not good this club we're in a mess looks like as I say Big Sam will be following in the door after Jave with uh, Jave leaving but yeah you know what fair enough to Jave for taking the job no one else wanted to take the job you took it you gave it a, a go and uh, I wish him all the best no hard feelings like it was a mess him I mean it was a mess for him to go in in the first place but you know what he took it he gave it a go and it, it hasn't worked out but the thing about Javi was he wasn't a motivator you think about Jesse Marsh he was a motivator right I was watching the press conference from Javi last week before the game he's just so boring and I don't think he connected to the players maybe the players didn't play for him but as I say, that's my say on Jave Garcia. Check us out on all our social medias and I'll catch you later.